Hi, welcome to Scope Maths video on transformation matrices. In this video, we're going to focus on the transformation matrix that is a 90 degrees clockwise rotation about the origin, or I suppose a 270 degrees anti-clockwise rotation about the origin. And that's the matrix 0, 1, minus 1, 0. So we're going to start off with the unit square, this square, O, A, B, C, and we're going to multiply each of these points by this matrix to show you that this matrix works, this transformation matrix works. So let's start off by writing down our matrix 0, 1, minus 1, 0. And we're going to multiply it by the point that first of all is at the origin, the point 0, 0. Now, because the center of rotation is the origin, this point should stay where it is. So let's have a look and see. So 0 times 0, the first row times the column. So 0 times 0 is 0, and 1 times 0 is 0. Adding them together is 0. So the x coordinate of the point will be 0. And then minus 1 times 0 is 0. 0 times 0 is 0. So that's the point 0, 0. So the point that was at the origin will stay there. Next, we're going to take the matrix 0, 1, minus 1, 0. So we're going to multiply by the point A, which is 1, 0. So that's the point 1, 0. And when we do that, taking the first row and multiplying it by the column, 0 times 1 is 0, 1 times 0 is 0, adding them together is 0. And next, multiplying the second row by the column, minus 1 times 1 is minus 1, 0 times 0 is 0, adding them together is minus 1. So the point A will move to 0, minus 1, so it's going to move 90 degrees clockwise about the origin to here, the point A dash. Next, the point B, 1, 1, so that's going to be 0, 1, minus 1, 0, and we're going to multiply it by the point 1, 1. And when we do that, we get, well, multiplying the first row by the column, 0 times 1 is 0, 1 times 1 is 1, adding them together will be 1, and then minus 1 times 1 is minus 1, 0 times 1 is 0, adding them together will be minus 1. So the point B will be rotated 90 degrees clockwise about the origin to here. So that's the point B dash, and that's the point 1 minus 1. And finally, the point C. So the point C is, well, if we take our matrix 0, 1, minus 1, 0, and we multiply it by the point C, 0, 1, we get 0 times 0 is 0, 1 times 1 is 1, adding them together is 1, and then the, finally, the second row times the column, minus 1 times 0 is 0, 0 times 1 is 0, so that will be the coordinates 1, 0. So the point C will move 90 degrees, or be rotated 90 degrees clockwise about the origin to here, which is the point 1, 0. So as you can see, the square has been rotated 90 degrees clockwise about the origin to give us this square here, or I suppose 270 degrees anti-clockwise. And that's it. So the transformation matrix that is a 90 degrees rotation about the origin or a 270 degrees anti-clockwise rotation about the origin is the matrix 0, 1, minus 1, 0.